Medal of Honor Frontline is a World War II shooter published by EA. It was released in May on the PS2 and later in the year, I think November, December time for the Xbox and GameCube. The version that you're seeing here that I've captured is from the GameCube version. And let me just say this up front, this is one of the most legendary first person shooter games to come out in the early 2000s. It is so good. I feel like this game was one of the first games to really bridge the different, the, like the old school shooter controls that you had for like GoldenEye and like the single stick shooter controls to like the more modernized shooter controls that you have now and honestly it was incredible but honestly there was nothing like it turning this game on for the first time and doing the d-day landing missions which you can see the capture of now was mind-blowing one of the greatest films of all time is saving private ryan and to see that sort of like translated into a game was insane back in the day this just looked incredible the graphics now still look okay but this opening d-day scene was so good i was also convinced as a kid that you could find gun tanks on the beach but you can't but i truly think like back in the day back when medal of honor was the go-to first person shooter this was revolutionary this game was so good it was just the graphics were insane the action was insane the sound the sound of this game it sounds really weird to say this but the sound of this game was incredible all the weapons sound great the m1 grand does that thing when it reloads you get that like pop noise everything was so good it was just legendary just watching like the capture footage going back to play this game was such a weird nostalgic trip because i was like it was just it's just so frantic like for a 2002 game you had no idea what you were in for if i was to give it any sort of comparison as to like what it's like it's like the first time you play a battle royale game and you just get thrown into absolute carnage you have no idea what's going on and the game really captured the chaos of that like opening scene in saving private ryan so this was like actually one of the first games or first medal of honor games to be published um by electronic arts and it also had a lot of input from dreamworks skg which was a uh, so if people don't know this dreamworks was a well dreamworks is like the production company dreamworks the movie cinema is a production company owned by steven spielberg and that's why this game had so much influence from the uh saving private ryan films like all of this just looks just like the film sets I and mean, that's because it had a lot of input from steven spielberg himself who worked as like almost like a producer on these games where he was like a um and this is not what's the best way of saying it he was like a um oh yeah well, producer or like con like quality control controller and he decided like a lot of the sounds and the guns and how they looked and how the sets looked which is really interesting because you don't really get hollywood directors ever really putting a lot into like video games now now when this game was released it was met with such praise from all of the uh all of the sort of like the gaming magazines like if you even just look at the time now i don't i think the lowest score it got was seven out of ten but everything else was like 8.49 9.6 game zone gave it a 9.6 that's a weird one the game spot was nine out of ten uh euro gamer 10 out of 10 there's just so many great reviews and i think like the word of mouth the fact that it was like saving private ryan word of mouth everything just added to this game it was just great to play going back and playing it again was like i said such a nostalgic trip now granted playing it again now it's nowhere near as hard as some of the later medal of honor games and it's nowhere near like it's a bit clunky looking at it now but for a 2002 first person shooter like just look at this capture footage it looks it looks so good still to this day like you can it was the first game that i remember where left trigger was to aim down a scope which sounds really stupid because it's such a common thing now in any game but it's the first time i remember it in a video game for, for me and then like the actual after the first level well this is still part of the first level this bit here 
but when you get to like the close quarter combat that's when it gets also really really vicious now when this game first came out the major thing that it was lacking on the playstation 2 version is that it didn't have a multiplayer mode but when it was re released a few months later in the sort of uh, end of the year, i think it was december or november time of 2002 the gamecube and the xbox versions both did have multiplayer which added a lot to the game like I used to play a lot of multiplayer with a few of my friends on the GameCube version um, it wasn't anything particularly special it was a bit more just like team deathmatch it was like uh, it was like trying to emulate what golden I was on the N64 but yeah like I feel like a lot of people had the PS2 version rather than the, um, the GameCube and Xbox version so probably missed out on quite a lot of the multiplayer of this game now with this game being so popular there has been quite a few attempts to bring out like a HD master or uh, just a remaster of this game. I, I think in like 2010 when they rebooted the Medal of Honor franchise and brought it into like the modern modern warfare era of games they brought out a HD version of this game that was bundled i think it might have been digital only it was definitely only on ps3 i remember that but it was uh either digital or just bundled with the ps ps3 versions of medal of honor warfighter or maybe it was just called medal of honor i can't quite remember because i didn't really play the modern warfare i've kind of fallen out of modern warfare shooters at that point I was playing other stuff like bioshock and better first person shooters than than what you used to have but yeah there was also like a, a few times they tried to make a standalone hd remaster and it just it never really fell for it like never really came through uh because i feel like the the medal of honor series in general just lost its uh lost its appeal because they just let call of duty run all over them and they oh, i don't know i don't know how the best get into it they just didn't didn't see where the market was going where they were adamant that like world war ii shooters were always going to be popular they fell out of being popular and i think that kind of caused the death of the franchise and then they would just look like they were copying um call of duty all the time after that but for me medal of honor frontline and the sequel which i will talk about next week was one of the best first person shooter games that ever came out. I absolutely love this game. I love like how they use so much of the Saving Private Ryan sets. Like it's not only just this first level, because the second level when you is the ending of the film of Saving Private Ryan. And I love the action in this game as well. It's just it's so just fun. It's just such a fun game. It reminds me of a time when shooters were still fun and they weren't super serious. Even though it's a pretty serious subject World War II they were just it was still arcadey just the right level of arcadey maybe this is just the capture footage of me not having this absolute clue where i was going and then i got to murder everyone which was pretty good but yeah that is medal of honor frontline i would absolutely love to know in the comments your thoughts on this game if you have any memories whatsoever of this game please let me know because i would absolutely love to hear everyone's experiences with this game uh, so yeah write in the comments let me know and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video and uh if you haven't already please remember to like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching